All right, got a good tone here. Let's see what we get. fixing to show you how I kind of do some research and uh, get permission and uh, how I locate the land and do the research on the land and then go out to the land and then hopefully we're gonna it's all gonna pay off we're gonna be able to dig up some stuff and find some good stuff but I thought I would make a video and bring you along the journey with me from start to end and so I've been eyeballing this corner lot in my town for some time now and I actually wrote a letter to these landowners uh, probably four years ago or so, and they never responded to me. Well, uh, come to find out, these people ended up becoming members in my church, believe it or not. And so I had asked them yesterday, I sent them a text uh, yesterday night, and I asked them would they mind if I went over and, and I metal detected their, their vacant lot. It's been vacant probably since, I would think probably in the 60s or 70s. And uh, they said, have at it. You know, it's a jungle. It really is grown up. I went and looked at it the other day. And so uh, I'm going to have to go and take my big, huge five foot brush hog and go in there and kind of uh, mow it down a little bit to be able to swing. But I think it's going to pay off though, because let me show you what I'm doing here. Uh, I got my computer and I brought up my search engine. I just went to Greg County uh, property search and I'm not too concerned about uh, showing this information because all that I'm showing you is public information anyway. I have exclusive permission on this property so no one else can get on it so I'm not worried about that. Um, and so I'm not too worried about trying to hide the names and the streets and stuff like that because it's, uh, it's all public information anyway and uh, I'm the only one that has permission to, to detect this. But anyway, this is what I do. I go to the computer. I live in Gregg County, Texas, which is East Texas, and I just bring up Gregg County uh, CAD, CAD Property Search, and that'll bring me up to this little page here. You just hit the disclaimer, yes, and, and you want to go up and you want to hit the right here, the interactive map. So when we click on the interactive map, it brings me up to my county, and uh, we can see that the big city in my county is Longview, and I live right here in this little small town called White Oak and uh, kind of the north central part of the county. And so you can zoom in now, you can start zooming in on this and uh, it starts putting up all your parcels, your lots and things like that. You just keep zooming in and zooming in, you can eventually get to where you wanna be. And so this is the map. And so when I zoom in, here is my property that I'm looking at right here. And uh, you can click on this and uh, it'll give you all the property information that you want. There's no houses on this property now. But anyway, I can bring it up right here and I can see my lot right there uh, on, a, on aerial view uh, where I'm going to be detecting. And uh, let me clear this off. And so this is my, my lot that I'm looking at right there. And so when I go to historic, and then I bring up historic aerials, I type in the location here. And as you can see, you can see that there's the old driveway right here leading into uh, a garage looks like there's going to be a, a, a shop over here and it's going to be the house right here most likely it's going to be a wood frame house I'm looking at the 1957 the earliest historic arrow map that, that, that there is here so my focus is going to be I'm going to look over here to the to the left the left of this house or to the right of the house as we're looking at it and uh, if the house was facing this way which would be to the east uh, this would have been the front yard, and so I know a lot of the kids would have played there. But since this is a corner lot, and it's a big corner lot, and this looks like this is dirt, maybe the house is facing uh, south. And so I'm thinking this area right in here is going to be really good. And this is this is still open, and uh, this is all wooded up in here now. So I got to go in there and clear all this out and mow all this down in order to be able to, to swing pretty good. But I'm thinking I'm going to focus in right over here onto the right of the house and then to the back of the house. And this would be the back line of the lot right here. And this out here in the front where I'm thinking kids have played for years and years and years out here on this corner lot. So I'm thinking there's gonna be some good stuff to be found in this area right here. We can go to the 2018 area and we can zoom in and you can kind of see right here, this is still the same, here's the, here's the street. 
and you can see that it's still open, but it's kind of grown up with about one foot tall grass in it, but everything where the house is sitting is all trees in here. The driveway's about right there, so the house would have set right in here in the center of the lot, and so I'm going to focus right there and get all this down and focus down in here. It's a pretty good sized lot, about 200 feet by 200 feet square. And so, but my focus is right here on the 57. And so I want to look right here and I want to focus, uh, another place to focus is directly in front where the driveway was. So I don't know which way the house sat. Uh, I haven't talked to the my church members to get that information and po hopefully I will before I go out here. But today I wanted to do the research. I wanted to secure the permission. And uh, I'm going to ask them now, is it okay if I go down there and take my big five foot mower and mow it all down. And uh, if that's the case, then I'm gonna load up the, the mower this afternoon and go down there and mow it this evening. And uh, and then probably hit it on Friday and, and I'll see and, and bring you along with me. So until then, I guess I will see you in the vacant lot and we'll see what we can find. Well, this is the property. I just got through mowing it. About two foot high I got it down to about four inches I'm gonna mow it again tomorrow knock it down but the house set the driveway is right here and so the house set right right in here right in here I think by this big tree and so we got all this in here all that down there it goes around and then we have all this through here. And you can tell the different top of the grass, the daffodils that I dug up, the cedar tree, the different types of trees. So I believe the house set right, right in here. And the driveway is right in there, right in here. And then here's that lot I mean, it's probably 250 feet across here. And I'm hoping the house set to the south, and this is where they played. I'm hoping this lot's gonna produce a lot. But um, we will see, we will see. So, as I said, I got permission, did the research, we mowed it down. I just gotta call Digger Lady. An army man up and we got to get over here before the grass gets high again in bad weather and then we're gonna see if this paid off I hope so I really hope so I've been wanting to dig this for years so I'll show you if we do Well, on location with Army Man. Wave at me, Army Man. Army Man. And we got Digger Lady, we call her, out here today. We're on this lot, so let's get the swing and see if we find anything. All right, got a good tone here. Let's see what we get. Kind of hard to dig. Live dig when you're at one hand. There it is right there. It's going to be a stinking Lincoln. It's going to be a memorial penny. It's going to be copper. All right, let's keep going. Maybe there's something else in here good. Army man says he's got a target. A ring up is a 28, jumping around pretty good. Everything in here has been pretty shallow and just pennies. Yep. Yep, that is it right there. I see silver, finally. This is where the front yard is. We've been digging pennies, just tons of copper pennies in here. All right, let's see if it's gonna be, what's it gonna be? 
Rosie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there you go, man. Thank you, sir. That's a silver. That account, won't it? Yes, it First will. one on the board. Thank you. Now, I told Army Man and Digger Lady that there's an 1898 Barber Dime out here I buried for just to have fun. If Whoever gets it gets a, a little prize from Preacher Digger. So let's see who gets it. We're in this area where the house set. We're thinking it's right here. A lot of pennies, a lot of trash. And uh, had a good target right over there. You can see my dig hole. I gave it to a digger lady. It was a quarter. It wasn't silver. But I just dug this 27 up, popped it up, and I see a little edge of silver. And it looks like it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a Merc. Oh, what year is that? 1943. 1943 D. 1943. Is that D? Or S? That's an S, maybe. I don't see good. All right, well, I'm on the board. A lot of uh, pennies, a lot of coins. That's all we've been digging. Nothing else. Nothing else. The garage set right there. You can see a little bit of the pavement right in the in the middle. And uh, so that's where the garage would have been. They would have walked straight up through here to the house. And this is where I found this dime. All right, let's get a picture and keep rolling. All right, Army Man saying he's got a 3738. That's a silver dollar in a hole. What do you think it is? A bazinga. It's over here by this trash pile. I hope, I hope not. I hope it's a silver dollar. If it is, I'll do a flip. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I'll do a flip. Last time I dug a high target like that, it was a peace dollar. What kind of depth did it have on it? Copper pipe. Bazinga! That's what you get when you live dig. I have people all the time say, if you don't live dig, it doesn't count. Well, this is what you get when you live dig every time. All right, man, congratulations. You got your piece of pipe. I did. Little bazinga back there, but I didn't get a bazinga. I got something good. Let me show it to you. Yeah. Got me a little toy car. It's not a Tootsie toy, so it's not gonna date back old but it is an older 70s probably model 60s car definitely looks 60s with that design let me clean it up and i'll get you a good shot of it all right it's going to be a 1975 hot wheels not as old as i like but hey right here in the house site and this is what we're going to dig seems like all the pennies we're digging is in the 70s but i did get that 40 merc where sean is digging army man and he got a 60 something rosy right over there so we're in the time period we'll see how good your plug is Not i'm going to uh give this target up it's ringing up a 28 to a 30 on my equinox it's ringing up 84 85 on her garrett is that an ace 400 yes yeah and that so we're going to critique her on every move <laughs> she makes here okay. uh, no I'm gonna run out of film. You will, because it'll take <laughs> me forever to find it. That's what you shall leave Oh, it's a pull tab. What? No, that can't be it. That can't be. That's not gonna ring up a 28, 29, 30 on my Equinox. That's gonna be like a 15. There, keep recheck your hole. Help her, Sean. All right. Because my film will be 30 minutes long. My video will be 30 minutes long before we get it up. <laughs> We'll just have to come back. No, it's on the plug, I mean. And what is it? Clad dime, like I called it, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
I called it, clad it down. Is. Well, back out here today, and uh, at the same lot we were yesterday, I'm gonna call this the penny lot because we're not finding anything. Just found a penny spill right over here. And uh, it's just nothing out here really, but I thought I'd come out here one more time and see what I can find. I got a 2829 here. Just popped it up, I can see edge. It looks like a toy car, so let's go look at it. Yep. Yeah. Gonna be a, is that a Corvette? Gonna be a Corvette. All right, that's something. It's better than nothing. Let's keep looking for maybe another rosy dime or a Merc. Well, that is it for this lot. You just never know. I'm going to call this the penny lot because, man, I dug so many pennies up out here and didn't dig not one wheat penny at all. Uh, we dug those two silver coins, and that's all we got. Not much out other than that. But, hey, you never know. You know, there's a house set here in 1957, so you know there's had to been some activity here on this lot uh, sometime. And uh, out there on that vacant lot, there was nothing. It was just quiet out there. You never know until you get on the lot and, and do the research and uh, get on it. Sometimes you strike it rich, and sometimes you don't get it anything at all. And this is my third time to go out that I've got really nothing. Now, three out of four hunts, I've gotten nothing at three out of four. But that's just the way it is in metal detecting, though. Ain't that right? But uh, I'll get on a lot one day to be producing a lot. But uh, anyway, I'm going to call this lot a day. And I've got everything laid out. Let me show you what I got. All right, there's my trash. Typical house lot stuff. But uh, nothing old. That's what was strange about this lot. Nothing old. Here's my treasures. I got a uh, poison pinto. I think that's what they call that. That's a blue one. Somebody said they should have been green, but it says Poison Pinto on it right there. 1976, and then I thought this was a Corvette, but it's actually a Lamborghini. And, uh, but here's all my, uh, lots, of, lots of change. I got $1.50 in quarters. I got uh, 60 cents in dimes. I got one nickel. Oh, I got one little buckle there. But check this out. All those pennies, most of them are all copper pennies from the uh, 70s and uh, 60s. But no wheat pennies and only one zinc penny right here. The rest of them, I think, are all copper. And uh, the only good find is that 1943S Mercury Dime. And then uh, Army Man also got a 1951 Rosie Dime. And Digger Lady didn't get anything. So that's one of those lots. We're just not going to find a whole lot out there. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. I say the greatest treasure isn't what you can find on a vacant lot. The greatest treasure what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.